Hello guys, so in today's video we're going to talk about masks and face sets. So first, masks. So let's uh, get this right here. And we have our mask brush right here. You have one mask, another mask. So both masks, we have a mask. Okay, so we have our mask. So right now, we can just paint our mask like that. Just paint it that way. And whatever is outside our mask, we can manipulate whatever is grayed out like that we cannot manipulate for example let's create the, the elastic press f to make this bigger so you see whatever is inside of it's all grayed out we have we can manipulate whatever is inside we cannot manipulate let's switch this around so for example if i press alt Control I, Control I, I invert the mask. So whatever is not grayed out, I can just manipulate that. Let's go with this brush here. Press F to reduce the brush size and look. You see, I cannot add anything right here, but I can add anything here. I can kind of like add a little bit here because it's soft. It's kind of like a fall off of the bro of, of the mask. But there you go. So that's one option that you can do masks. There's another option as well that you can do mask instead of drying. If you go to mask here, you have like mask lasso, max box, clear mask. We can clear mask. Say like you have you have the mask here. Press M. M. You access the mask. Control I. You invert the mask. And the other one is Alt. There you go. Alt M, Alt M, clear the mask. So those ones are the shortcuts for it. So let's go to M. If you press Shift Control, you have this kind of mask here. So it's like a lasso mask. I really use this one a lot. The lasso mask is one of my favorite masks to use. Like I, I don't normally, I use the one kind of that, that is just kind of like draw like that and Shift Control the lasso mask i really 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 rare use the box one i rather to use these two for masks so just remember you want to invert the mask Control i you want to clear the mask alt m you want to access the masks let's say you're in this brush you want to access the mask m and you will access press Control m sorry there is no accent right there you want to access the, the mask just press on M and you will be there. So you have the options here: invert, fill mask, clear mask, box mask, lasso mask, smooth mask, sharpen, and grow mask. Those ones are the other ones. For example, if this is like pretty smooth on the on the surrounded areas. So you can just go to mask and you can just uh, sharpen mask, and that's gonna sharpen. Just make those edges like really, really sharp. So you have like a more details in there. Okay, so. We have it there. We have a, a grow mask. We can make max bigger, become bigger, and bigger, and we can do the same stream max. So it has those options, but uh, we just, you know, now M. So this is the thing. We have this mask. This one I use it a lot. The one that probably you guys are gonna use more. Control Shift this mask as well, and Control I to invert and I'll M to clear. So that's pretty much what you need to know about masking. So we have another tool that allows you, allow us to isolate, to hide, or to manipulate or mask um, pieces of geometry of our sculpt that is called facets. So in these facets, they're super, super good in order to pretty much like to hide and you focus on just a specific parts of those geos. For example, we have like paint facets right here. We can just paint all of these. You see, so you have like all that paint. Let's uh, turn our symmetry here. You see this one there? I think it's there. Okay. So you see, you can you can paint your 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 facets just like that. I'll paint your facets. And there you have 
face it right there. You see that it changed the color is because every time that you move or, or paint over, you have a new face it. But if you want the same color, you're just gonna hover over and press control and now you have the same color you see I hover over here press control and I have the same color of facets okay so that's super important just to know because let's say hover there you go and I have all my facets ready there because if I don't do that look I start painting a new facet and that's gonna create problems for example you kind of like finish painting this and then you're gonna have right there okay there you go so I have my face it and then you want an, a new one here so in this case you're just gonna start painting your face it right there and if you paint your face it right here like it's just gonna go over you see that right now because I released my mouse and now there's another face so I'm just gonna hold control hovering um, on top of this color and so I can get that face it done. There you go. So that's really, really, really kind of like important and, and, and good to know. There is another option that you have uh, the boss box face uh, face it that you just box like that. It's kind of like a box, pretty much face. So you have like those options. Also, you have uh, if you press the W key, you have face it from mask, show all, invert visible and face it from visible okay so those ones are options that that it, it can give you show all faces and just with that with that uh, w key so there you go so let's say that you know you have you guys have a uh, uh, let's do a face it off the the head right there have a new face right there. If I hover here and I press the H key, look, I isolate that face set and I just can make sure that I'm just, you know, getting like a good details in there or even I can do with the mouth as well or, or just the eyes if I want to kind of like get that face set as well. You know, like press H, press H again and look, it's isolate. You press H, you bring everything back you press H on top of the face that you want, you isolate that. So it, uh, this is super, super useful in terms of of uh, hiding and, and trying to work like a more, in more concentrated uh, areas. So press H as well. Also, you can have this, you can do a mask as well here. So let's see, I just have one mask brush. So I can just mask this, let's see. Let's mask this part all around and you see that then you can press W and face it from mask select that one look you see so you can just mask and create a face a face set for from that mask so which is super super useful as well so you can either either draw it or you can already have like a mask of something and then create that mask as a face set so there's another option. I'm just gonna get rid of the mask. I'll um, to get rid of the mask. So there's another option that you guys can have. For example, you go to brush and auto masking facets. So what it does, you brush auto masking facets. So what it does do is that you can sculpt in that facet. For example, let's see. Let's take the the grab this one. Let's make this bigger. And look, if I go here, that's just gonna move. Just moving everything, but yeah, so you have to select first your brush, and then go to auto mask, again, face it, and now look, you're just moving. Just that face it. That's all. Now you're just moving this one. So that's super, super, super important. Let's say let's create another face it right here in this one so let's paint this okay so i have the face set then i'm gonna go with the with my grab brush and you see i have face set activated the normal if you change brushes look you see so, so you, every time that you pick a new brush you have to uh, add that uh, face set so look so now you can manipulate this face set as as you want 
without modifying the rest of the geometry, which is super useful as well. So pretty much these phases are temporary phases. You know, like, a, not temporary, but you can just, you know, one, they're there, they're there, but it, it's like a, you don't want those phase sets anymore. You just press the W key and phase set from visible, and there you go. You just kind of like get rid of all of them. So you can just create like new phase sets as well. And if you want to get rid of those ones, just do the same W key and phase it from the visible, and you will get rid of those phase sets. So for example, so, so let's say like you have all your faces, let's go back. So you have all your face sets there and um, kind of like, okay, you, you really want to keep them, you will want to delete them. You can just go to the over and the viewport overlays and change the faces and to just turn them off. There's no problem. If you are done with your face sets and you don't, you're not going to use them uh, anymore, um, but you still want to keep them just in case. So either you can just press W, face it from visible, it will create a whole new face set for every, for the whole thing, or you can just go here and just turn off the face sets. And there you go. So you can just keep your face sets and you can just turn the visibility of it off. So you can just keep working with uh, your uh, mall without having to actually, you know, see all the colors and stuff. You can also like, change the, the the opacity of it instead of turning it off it's the opacity so i hope you guys learned something new in this video and uh, let me know if you have any questions if you if i brought some value to it just to you guys just make sure that you subscribe comment like share and see you next time with more from zero to hero in blender take care